Uh, within the context of uh, learning in our school, the exciting things are that we are implementing one-on-one um, -on -one computers, which enables the students and all students to use their uh, laptops, not just in the classroom, but at home for work. Um, we've um, implemented a number of programs such as digital storytelling that incorporates um, using iMovie and uh, movie production techniques plus also telling a story which I believe is one of the most important things in the classroom is to listen and to learn about stories and people's stories so that's really exciting and the opportunity that they can source materials um, not necessarily at school but at home that add to their, their storytelling mechanisms the access to material from anywhere, whether it's a uh, technique or whether it's a history or whether it's particular auteurs in, and I'll speak for animation. Um, for instance, uh, when I first started teaching uh, 20 years ago, it was extremely difficult, in, impossible almost to get hold of um, some really nice uh, Russian animation. And so as time has gone on now and uh, we have DVDs and also the internet, we can we can have instantaneous access to films from what used to be iron block countries. So it's, it's that ready access to international works is uh, extremely beneficial to me. The consumer is um, having a much more broader role in providing content for um, publishing houses, um, newspapers, and uh, other uh, websites that um, purport to be putting out uh, a, a news service. So it's a very big feature and uh, it's certainly been highlighted here to, at the conference in the last few days in how that changes the model, if you like, certainly the gatekeeper model of uh, the journalist or the, or the, uh, the proprietor of a, um, a newspaper would control how the news is gathered and how it's distributed, but where a consumer is actually sending material into um, the uh, organisation that material is going up online as a blog or images or video that's captured online, particularly in terms of uh, fast moving events. Most exciting, well, more interesting ways of students presenting material. I, um, I did my presentation on doing the pitch. Um, so it was about ideas generation. But when the students actually do the pitch, they can use technology to. Um, convey their ideas, create ideas, put them together as a co coherent kind of package or I set of ideas. In, in the media area, I think it's the quality of the equipment that students can get hold of. You know, we now have students who are using broadcast quality equipment that they own themselves and, and, and shooting the most beautiful footage. I have a particular interest. I've been teaching media at a secondary and now a tertiary level for the last 16 years. And the fantastic culture that goes around things like skateboarding and surfing, um, trial bikes, unicycles, every single year in that whole period I've always had at least one outstanding film by a student from that culture. And So this sort of possession, if, if I see four skateboarders somewhere in a park, there'll either be a fifth one with the camera to the side or one of the four will have a camera. So they, I find that really exciting that, that they use this technology, they have their own uh, language of using it and they're using it for their own ends and, and I can only see that increasing over time. I find that really exciting. Just the accessibility of the technology. Um, it's becoming a lot cheaper. The kids, even even though my school is in an area where it's not not a particularly wealthy area, but they're still coming. They still come with smartphones. They're still investigating things like iPads and the impact that they have. So even though they're not necessarily wealthy families, they still have access to that equipment, and it's accessible for schools to acquire that equipment for even the kids who can't afford it to have it themselves. So I think the the accessibility of the equipment, it, I think, is becoming the most exciting element. And being able to use that technology to the full potential, I think.